what is good YouTube I'm coming back at y'all with another reaction video today I ain't gonna lie the goal is to upload a video every day until my channel gets up there you know but until then you know hold on what is this alright make sure this ain't no who the fuck is this Oh, no. To the table to really clear the air. Somebody made a statement for me that wasn't a statement I made mm -hmm. that went cray cray. And one of the reasons why I wanted to come to the table is the media, the headlines. Oh. We specifically never said anything. anything. Yes. We were purposely not saying anything. Any headline that says Jada said or Will said or the Smith said mm -hmm. is not true. We specifically never said anything. Right. So coming to the table was like we just felt like it got to the point where you got to say something. Yeah. And, you know? and, and to stop that cycle. Yeah. You know, there's people's feelings involved. Right. Right. You know, and at the end of the day, yeah. I don't like how all of this came to be. That doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's all love. Mm -hmm. Honestly. And. Yo. I would huh, I'm, I'm not. You know, that, that would be something I wouldn't comment on at all. Yeah. You know, and I feel like it's a situation that I consider private. You just feel like it ain't really nobody, nobody nobody's business. business yeah. But, yeah. But now Black Twitter has <laughs> claimed it as their business. <laughs> but you know, I feel like it's it's healing that needs to happen. You know, the fact that he's still and I know there's a lot of stuff going on smiling right about now. this. Yeah. Even though this is minuscule, I do feel like it's these kinds of things that create the world that we're in. And the idea of not communicating, yeah. not talking about it, not clearing the air, and just being as transparent. Mm -hmm. Just Absolutely. being transparent. And I'm, I'm here with you. Yeah, I thank you for that because you've been on a hell of a journey with me. So yeah, that's what we're going to start with. Is that start this with... is a very personal journey yep. that became very public. Yes, absolutely. For whatever reason. So what happened, Jada? Okay, so let's start with, I guess about four and a half years ago. Yep, started a, a I think it was about four and a half, four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, started a friendship with August. Mm -hmm. And we actually became really, really good friends. And really, really good friends. See, this is why you can't trust nobody. And it all nobody. started with him just needing some help. You know, me wanting to help his health, his mental state. Because for me, that was the thing when I when. Um, when Aug first came around, he was he was really, really sick. sick. He was really you know? really sick. Yeah. And the outpouring for him from our family was uh, initially about his health. Yeah. And I mean, we found all those different resources, mm -hmm. you know, to help pull him through. Mm -hmm. And from there, you know, you and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided. I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was done with you. Yeah. <laughs> we Marriages have that, though. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically, mm -hmm. we broke up. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time, and you go figure out how to make yourself happy, and I'll figure out how to make myself happy. Well, at that Hey, look, I'm not married, so you know what I'm saying? I, I can't really give my two cents on that, but you know what I'm saying? If you married... Like, ain't no, how you gonna take a break? You married. At that particular point in time, it was indefinite. Yeah, I really felt like we could be over. Yeah, know? no, and, we were over. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there, you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement with August. And one thing I want to get clear about and clean up, one of the things that was kind of swirling in the press about you giving permission, which is uh, 
you know, the only person that can give permission in, in, in that particular uh, uh, yeah. circumstance is myself. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But what August was probably trying to communicate, mm -hmm. because I could actually see how he would perceive it as permission because we were separated mm -hmm. amicably. Yeah. And I think he also wanted to make it clear that he's not a homewrecker, mm. which he's not. I think so. I mean, because this is your red table, and you like brought yourself to the red table. I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. As far as what you and I decided we were going to take our space, and what happened? Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. An entanglement. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a yeah. relationship. Absolutely. I was in a lot of pain and I was very broken. Now, in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized that you can't find happiness outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. And luckily enough, you and I were also going through a process of healing in a much different manner. I would definitely say we did everything that we could to get away from each other, only to realize that that wasn't possible. So we come to the red table. So I'm in the, I'm in the Jada position right now. So okay. you know you during that time launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with August. What do you feel like um, you were looking for? I just wanted to right. feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt good. Yeah. And it was really a joy to just help heal somebody. Yeah. I think that has a... a lot to do with my codependency, which is another thing that I had to learn to break in this cycle. Just mm -hmm. that idea of needing to fix and being drawn to people that need help, whether it's your health or whether it's your addictions. Mm -hmm. There's something about that childhood trauma mm -hmm. um, that feels as though it can be fixed through fixing people mm -hmm. versus fixing me. Yeah. And I think that that whole process with all really showed me that mm -hmm. and taught me that. And I'm really grateful for that lesson. I feel like that husband... I bet you are grateful for that lesson. Did my nigga dirty, man. Like, I'm with you at the press conference. <laughs> and that husband, I'm with, now I gotta be with you at the press conference <laughs> while you, like, tell the world uh, about your transgressions. <laughs> well, like, I love, I love my baby. I'm gonna stand by my baby no matter what. Well, you know, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely understand mm -hmm. um, why it would look that way or feel that way. But I actually don't look at it as a transgression at all. Through that particular journey, I learned so much mm -hmm. about myself and was able to really confront a lot of emotional immaturity emotional insecurity and i was really able to do Where's... some really deep healing mm -hmm. you know and as i came through and started to realize certain things about you and i he decided to break all communication with me right. which was totally understandable right. um and i let that be and hadn't talked to him since right. So it is a little weird that all this stuff is coming out now yeah. since this was Yeah, because for me several... this was years ago, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, so the fact that it's uh, coming up now, and I think it could feel weird for people that we're laughing and, and talking about it, but... It happened it, so long ago. You know, and our experiences so this happened. of working through it, fighting through it, talking through it, and therapy. See, I thought this was recently. I didn't know, you know what I'm saying, that she did it a long time ago. And it's just now coming to light. Therapizing right. through it, I think that the why now is weird. Yeah. Exactly. When I say it's been a huge healing on my life. And just what I had to confront and discover, yeah. you know, about myself. Yeah. The ugly truths mm -hmm. and the beauty. Mm -hmm. So it was something that I felt like wasn't really ready to be discussed because it hadn't been that mm -hmm. healing because he hasn't wanted to you know, Aug and I haven't talked in 
so long. You know what I mean? So I don't know. This 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 all seemed very. Strange, you know what? I'm not even gonna pause. You know? But I'm just I'm grateful for the journey that you and I have had together. Because I feel like there are a lot of couples that go through those periods, yeah. and a lot of couples that have to separate and yeah. think it's over. And yeah. you know, the one thing I'll say about you and I is that there's never been secrets. Right. We came together uh, young, and we were both broken in our own ways. And to be able to make mistakes without the fear of losing your family is so critical yeah it's the idea of any relationship and trying to get to deeper understanding of love is going to be forged in fire yeah there's no way around it yeah. and i think that one of the things that i'm deeply grateful in this whole process between you and i is that we have really gotten to that new place yes. of unconditional love because I wasn't sure I was ever going to speak to you again. I know, I know. <sighs> That's tough, man. I don't know. Yeah, like, the fact that I'm speaking to you again is a, <laughs> is a miracle. Um, <laughs> I would agree. I would no, agree. No, but it ain't for the weak at heart. There's just certain things that you have to go through, and it's like... And I wish, you know... I wish that wasn't the case. <laughs> I do. I Absolutely. wish that yeah, wasn't sure. the hey, case. I sure wish it could be all magic and miracles. Yeah. You got to go through some to get the answers. Mm -hmm. You know. That's a fact. And I'm just happy because I definitely believe that you and I, we never, ever, ever thought that we would make yeah, it back. Yeah, yeah. There's a real power in the just knowing somebody's riding with you no matter what yeah and you really can't know that until you go until through, some through some stuff you know i don't want to go through this no more yeah no i don't yeah. either yeah i'm gonna get you back first and then you gonna get me back i think you got it. <laughs> hey you know what i'm saying if i'm if i'm will you know what i'm saying knee along you know what i'm saying you know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> I think you <laughs> I think we're good on that, okay? <laughs> okay, that might that's probably true. That's you probably know, true. but um and I don't think it's about getting anybody back. No, for me it is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if you that petty that's what you want. <laughs> um but you know, I will definitely say mm -hmm. it's just part of it. Yeah. You know, if you expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. 25 years and counting. Mm. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage for life. life. <laughs> <laughs> That's lit. Uh, That's, That's terrible. It's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's just part of the journey. I told you the first year we were, were married. What did you tell me? That... I can love you through anything. And I didn't believe you. Yeah. If somebody looked through a crystal ball and said, this, 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 and this is going to happen, I'd be like, mm -hmm. no way. Yeah. You thought I was bad, that I didn't have the girth that it was going to take to ride with I you didn't, through. Yeah, I didn't know if you would be willing to find the deep capacity to love me. Yeah. How am I doing? You're doing great. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> yeah, you're awesome. All right, we're not here for her. I don't even know who this is. Hold on. I think there's a different part to this video that we gotta watch. We gotta be. Don't overpay for Best Buy. Wikibuy can save you money. It's a browser extension that automatically applies. It's a situation that I consider private. You just feel like it ain't really nobody, nobody nobody's business. business yeah, but yeah. But now Black Twitter has <laughs> claimed it. You need to say, uh, absolutely. We already seen. You can't all find those. happiness outside of your. Oh, so. Yeah, we already seen all of that. When, um, when Og for of happy. What did you do, Jada? What? 
I got into a different... You were looking for... I just wanted to feel good. Yeah. To just... We are just breaking the cycle. Just that idea All of right, man. needing to fix. Well, that's going to be it. Hope y'all enjoyed that. You know, if you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to. We out of here.